Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Friday, May 11th, European Open here. A little bit convoluted now, these charts. Let's, uh, let's talk about E-minis first, because that's the one that went wrong yesterday. We're fading this sort of figure to 20 zone. Uh, we chopped out very near the highs up here at 27, 23. Um, not really sure, but uh, looks pretty bullish close. We waited, we waited, and we didn't get a, any kind of pullback at the close, so we just cut it. Looks like this is wrong, so we move on. Uh, let's talk about the trade we got paid on yesterday, dollar CAD. Uh, paid twice, really. Uh, paid on the way down, and then we resold. We're trying to resell in that figure 40 area. We resold at 10. Now we're core short, uh, but you got to be careful here going into um, employment numbers in Canada today, 2.30 Central European time. So core short is the way. Obviously, these numbers are binary, and they create a lot of vol in Canada. So be careful with that. That said, uh, the rest of its uh, little commodity pals look like they're turning here. I uh, see a big day yesterday in Aussie after this tail down here. This looks like it's set to continue. Um, looks like the best way to do this is just to accumulate Aussie and Kiwi. I don't think this is going to break through 44. I can't really see this thing breaking through 60. You want to accumulate longs uh, in Aussie and Kiwi today. We have our CAD. But now we're fishing for some Aussie and Kiwi. This bar here is a little bit more obvious in the Kiwi. Totally overdone after the RBNZ did exactly what, you know, RBNZ did exactly what the market asked it to do, and they still smashed it. Now, the market seems to be coming to its senses. There might be some risk above 80 here, but you're accumulating this. Yeah. Um, you know, we pay the offer here at 68 for smalls, and then we'll probably soak some in 48, 38, stop below the lows. And we'll take a look at this 80 area and see if it's worth uh, matching up. But we're in accumulation mode in the commodity currency space. Let's look at dollar yen. I'm not sure where this is going to go, <clears throat> but this double top is uh, a tradable point. So just wait. Uh, if you are short, we are not. Uh, and you faded this, great. We've already made a new daily low. This neckline whilst is also a tradable level. Um, there will be a lot of people looking at this, especially if the markets turn risk off. Looks like we're going to get a little bit of a dollar sell today after that weak inflation number. Euro didn't know what to do. We charged through up to 50, then we charged back down, down to 75, and then we charged back up to 34. This is just nonsense. Don't know in Euro. Good case to sell it, good case to buy it now. The main case to buy it now is the market might be a little bit short. Um, but we're not touching Euro here. We all remember the 200 day, which is 12018. This will be probably the next tradable moment in Euro, whether you're a bear or a bull either sell up it there or you wait for a print and, and buy it if it breaks. Cable, our most unreliable pal Carney, after a very dovish BOE, went on to the BBC and said we're going to hike in the next year. It's just, just awesome. Begin to wonder about his mental mental health or whether he's just fucking with everybody I don't know that could be that would be actually kind of awesome um, market short sterling 
this could be a problem for the market. Uh, I don't mind the accumulation with a stop below this low here. Uh, but what I like better is uh, waiting for 136.16 to break and leave a stop below the figure. This is where, this area up here is, is where everyone's going to cut 136.15. So let's watch it, be vigilant, and uh, smile at the Canadian who's running the Treasury at the United Kingdom. What else is there? Cryptos are doing nothing. A little bit lower. Nothing to do here in the 9,000, 10,000 area. Uh, we got our core longs. We sit. Gold, just quickly. It's a sneaky one here, gold. Th 1318. A few uh, smarty pants guys that I know uh, bought gold here and are basically saying they don't think 1300 is going to trade and we're going to have some move back up to 1380 this isn't a bad you know you can think of a number of different scenarios where gold can get back up there especially with Israel you know being dicks uh, sanctions new sanctions being applied to Iran God help it if they do something uh, ego driven. Uh, gold could move. We don't uh, we don't own it. We don't trade much gold, but I just wanted to mention it uh, mention it to the flock. Uh, lastly, as you guys saw on Twitter, we're starting our little book challenge. The point of this challenge is basically this: uh, as an avid reader myself, I found in the last couple of years I've fallen off the reading bandwagon uh, and I don't know if it's because of all the digital reading that I have to do but I want to get back to books uh, some fiction some interesting self-helpy books whatever just books um, so we're gonna try and do 50, 52 books in 52 weeks and I'm encouraging anyone who follows privateer to join in I'll be putting commentary on Twitter about the books. Um, the first book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. I think this will apply directly and hit uh, hit a lot of hit hit the nail on the head for a lot of traders, guys who uh, typically we don't give a fuck. We love our freedom. Um, and yet, occasionally, on the negative side, we feel entitled. A lot of this theme is in this book, so let's plow through it. It's not too long. Uh, and commentary on Twitter about what's good and what's bad and what we learned as we go. No drama on the book club. It's really more of a personal challenge for myself. Uh, but I do uh, like a little bit of banter about books that I'm reading. Makes it more fun, more interesting. So uh, join in if you feel like it. All right, I've said enough. Good luck, European session. We will see you uh, as New York comes in. We'll talk a little bit more about this CAD number that's coming out. Ciao.